Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your November 2022 mini tarot reading. Before we get started though, I just wanted to say thanks for dropping by and happy Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday. <laughs> It'll be here soon. Also, I'm sorry, but they're in the middle of uh, harvest season here, so my allergies are acting up. I hope I'm not coughing on you. I appreciate you stopping by. Please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. And for those of you that would like a reading all about you, uh, you can book me down below or email me. I've included my website, which is www.soulstarbliss.com, or you can email me at soulstarbliss at gmail.com. So let's take a look here and see what's going on for you, Pisces. Wow, beautiful time of the year, my favorite. <laughs> let's see here. Oop. Here we go. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, it's like you've been wait, holding your back, holding back and waiting for something to happen. Well, whatever you've been waiting for and feeling like it's not going to move forward, you're going to get some news on that, whether that be a promotion at work or, um, I don't know, some, some, if you're waiting to hear from a lawyer or something like that, just some information you've been waiting quite a while for. You, I think you're going to have it this month. Before the end of the month, you're going to hear um, it might not be totally settled or fixed or repaired, but you're going to get the information that you've been waiting for. It says, you are strong, uh, Pisces. It says, remember, if you're having a difficult time now, think of all the victories you've had. Many, many, many in your earth walk. It says to be, um, and don't worry, I feel like there could be some uh, jealousy or some talk about something around you. And remember, jealousy is just a... <laughs> their problem, not yours. And it's just because someone says something about you doesn't mean it's true until you pick that badge up and slap it on. Now you believe it yourself. You know, you can't control what other people think or say. You can only control what you think and say. And that's real important here for you. I feel like new beginnings are, are, are that you've wanted are right before you and they've already started. So buckle up and get, get ready to move. It says preparedness in reverse, okay? It says that you've been, do I almost feel like there's been some soul searching by some of you wondering, you know, is this all there is or is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Um, maybe it's time to expand. You know, if you're thinking, gosh, I wish I would have went to school to be, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, uh, a accountant, uh, you know, a writer, whatever it is, if, if you that's what you think you should do, maybe the time is now. We get nudges in odd kind of ways. You know, if we have regrets, you know, Fix them now if you can. It says, with the magician and the star card here, it says you can ask for what you want and then just get out of the way and let spirit bring it to you. The hard part is, is when we ask and say, well, could I have that by two o'clock on Tuesday, you know, in a pink little wrapper? That's where it gets complicated. Everything comes in divine time. I have to remind myself of that all the time. So when I ask, or you ask, how is this serving me? Can I have a sign, please? You're going to get it. So pay attention to, to the sign. And it might be something as subtle as, I've gotten a sign uh, where there's snow outside and a butterfly landed on my window. Seriously. So I knew transformation was definitely coming. And it, it can, it might, you might see a butterfly, you know, in a magazine, on TV, on your car, whatever. And I'm using that as an example. Yours would may be different, but really pay attention. Someone you have a disagreement with. Okay. Ooh, this looks like a, almost a family kind of thing. A big disagreement. It's time to forgive and move on. Even if you can't forgive, let it go. Because I feel like you're holding um, some people back. And with the holiday here in the States of Thanksgiving, it really is a time to, you know, get to gather together and um, enjoy yourself. But it says, for those of you that have had a disagreement, I really feel it's with the family members. And this is for more than one person. It says, you know, you can be right or you can <laughs> be happy. I'm not saying that you should give in all the way, but definitely change. I think you need to talk to this person or persons, and it might be a good time for a healing to begin. Will it happen overnight? Could. I don't know, but it just says this is a good time to uh, work on something like that. Wants, wishes, daydreams. Are you still putting all of your wants, wishes, and daydreams? You know, are they in... Um, you know, in a bag or in a box on the shelf, maybe it's time to pull those down and take a look. Maybe you've forgotten yourself how important it is to do the things that you wish. Let's see here. Okay, it says victory is coming for you. I feel like you're going to be, be strong. And I, I keep going back to that disagreement with someone. And it could be a friend that you loved like family. I don't know. But it says, 
try to heal that up if you can. You can't change it, um, but we can move forward from it. Intuition, very, very strong right now. It just says, you know, it just seems like with these veils. So then people keep asking me, well, how do I know if it's my intuition or my ego? Well, you'll have to figure that out for yourself because that is uh, different for everybody. But it looks like put your lessons you've learned into practice. And lessons could be learning how to not spend your money when you don't have it. It might be saying things that you can't take back. It could be anything, whatever your lessons were. It might be a classroom lesson. I'm not sure, but it just says it's time for things to start falling into place for you. Um, and it says if counsel is needed, get the counsel, whether that's a lawyer, doctor, or, you know, a school teacher, because it's time for you to really shine believe it or not, Pisces, it looks like you've been, some of you have kind of been in a cocoon or wondering what you should do. And I just feel like, you know what, you're not going to get it. Well, you could, I should say, you're probably not going to get a thunderbolt saying, Hey, let's do this, this, and this, but it might be, gosh, I feel like an opportunity. Maybe someone you've wanted to talk to is called. Maybe you wanted a new job and heard that, you know, ABC corporation is hiring, you know, in another state. Do some, um, do some work here, you know, follow up those thoughts. If you're really looking for another job, let people know your friends that you are, because I think what you need is going to come from a verbal, some of you is what you need is from a verbal conversation with either a friend or a family member. And it, again, it could be work, it could be health, it could be repairs, but it says just because the tower came and it comes for all of us <laughs> sooner or later, different things. We have to remember not to give our power away, saying, okay, I'm done, I can't do this. Yeah, you can, you've done it. Remember remember your past, okay? You've made it through a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And you know, it would be, in a perfect world, it would be nice if we didn't have those problems, or not those, have problems, because it seems everybody's are different. That feeling of being alone, like everything's not going your way, I don't know what was said to you, but undo that, <laughs> you know, undo that in your head, cancel clear, because it says you are um, strong, you're smart, you're intelligent, um, and you can have what you want, but you gotta, you gotta put an effort into it. You know, if you've given up and said, okay, I just am not gonna have a new job, then you're not gonna have a new job. Okay, I give up, my health stinks, I can't get better. Well, th then your health is gonna stink, but you need to do something about it. Believe things are going to happen for you. Seriously, I feel like you're going to make choices that are really going to be good for you. And again, I wish it happened overnight. And it could, but it might take a little bit. You know, you didn't, um, those of you, especially depression, didn't really kind of happen overnight. I think it happens over time. And it says messages, messages, check your messages. Okay, so I'm assuming that's in your phone, in your computer, in your mailbox outside your house or the post office, something like that. But I think it's going to be uplifting for you that, you know, feeling of defeat certainly can be conquered. New beginnings with um, work are possible for those of you that are either laid off and it's been such a crazy couple of years that maybe this is the time to say, okay, I want to be whatever it might be, a realtor, a accountant, a cook, a chef. I mean, I don't know, but it just says right before you are opportunities to make changes for yourself that are going to make you happy. And they're also going to make you money in the love area. Those of you that are in a relationship, if things aren't going so well, maybe take a look and, and, and change things. You know, make the other person feel important. You know, pick up some flowers on your way home or pick some flowers out of the, you know, in the ditch, even they would be a thoughtful thing to do. Um, or just thank you or I appreciate you. It says spoken words are going to be real powerful you, right? Powerful for you right now. Not all the people talking around you, but what you say. Be a person of your word. Mean what you say and say what you mean. And it says that then the people close to you are going to listen to you. But it also says in your, if you're meditating or trying to hear from spirit, it says take your time because you're getting three quarters of a message, some of you. I get that a lot, you know, because we're in a hurry. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go. This says, it says take time for yourself. You're worth it. And things are going to go up and down, up and down. But man, you, it seems like you have an opportunity here to really turn stuff around for yourself, Pisces. I so appreciate you dropping by. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Stop by my website if you can, and I'll see you again next month.